डॉक्टर प्रकाश कोठारी सेक्सोलॉजिस्ट ही इज नॉट अ हाउस होल्ड नेम थैंकफुली दैट वुड मीन अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल्ड हाउस होल्ड्स वेन समन आस्ट हिम वट यू डू सर ही सेड आई स्पेंड माई डे टाइम सॉल्विंग नॉक्टरल प्रॉब्लम्स but he was only joking because when i asked him are these problems only nocturnal he said mujhe ek bashir badr ka sher yaad aata hai raat ka intezar kaun kare aajkal din mein kya nahi hota his two passions are sexology and ghazals as you know probably that the word ghazal means conversation between lovers so basically both are the same thing sexology and ghazals i i first thought of having him speak in sos when a patient came to my clinic 60 year old man with this symptom डॉक्टर साहब क्या पता था शरीर का ये हाल होता है जहां जहां इच्छाएं पैदा होती थी वहां इचगाड़ इस्तेमाल होता है एंड आई डोंट नो इफ डॉक्टर वी आर जोशी इज ऑलरेडी हियर बट वंस अ पेशेंट केम टू हिज ओपीडी हिज रूम एट ओपीडी 60 year old man again with rheumatoid arthritis and said sir i fondly remember those days when morning stiffness was much pleasanter <laughs> so he is the virtual founder of the science of sexology in india he started the first sexology opd more than 40 years ago in kem hospital and it is indeed a great privilege to welcome dr prakash kothari on kadam sir dr shah and friends it is indeed a pleasure for me to be among you this morning and i thank you dr shah for your remarks about me and you ladies and gentlemen for endorsing them the topic on which i plan to focus my professional attention is diagnosis of male sexual disorder by history taking well we all know that sexual disorders are one of the most common disorders of human functioning and it deserves attention of almost all physicians regardless of their particular speciality the model which i plan to present today is the one which i was using at kem hospital the model has been tried and tested in more than 50000 cases at kem hospital alone we normally ask four questions there are four parameters and you come to the diagnosis precisely number 1 desire number 2 erection number 3 penetration and number 4 orgasm ejaculation this particular model is very brief very precise very accurate and pinpoints the diagnosis accurately and that too within a couple of minutes you can diagnose a case as if you are diagnosing a respiratory problem or a gastrointestinal problem 
How do you diagnose a gastrointestinal problem? Very simple. All of you understand Hindi, please? एक पेशेंट आया डायरिया लेके आपके पास अब क्या सवाल पूछेंगे कितने जुलाब हुए पतले हुए कठिन हुए साथ में पेट में मरोड़ था नहीं था डिपेंडिंग अप ऑन दैट यू विल डिसाइड वेदर टू गिव अ बाइंडिंग एजेंट लाइक पैक्टिन केवलिन और नॉट If there is marod, whether to give any antispasmodic or not. If it's bacillary, particular antibiotic. Is amoebic, particular antibiotic. Similarly, even sexual problems also can be. No, I don't require any background. No, thank you. <laughs> sexual problems also can be diagnosed very effectively and can be treated also very effectively. Let's talk about the first model, first thing of, of the parameter, desire. What is sexual desire? Anybody? I've been asked by Dr. Tushar Shah not to use slides. I said, fine. He says, what is sexual desire? Anybody in the audience? Sorry? Desire? But what is it? An interest in mutually opposite sex. You are right, but partly right. Any other? Urge, yes. Please remember a good clinician does not impose his values on patients. So I don't want you to have your opinions. I mean, I want the facts. What is desire? Uncontrolled is <laughs> uncontrolled would be a pathology. <laughs> if the desires are uncontrollable, the needs are unquenchable. And if the behavior is compulsive, you would stamp him as a personality disorder, schizophrenia. Desire to love and be loved. It's a good saying. <laughs> It's a good thing, you know. Yeah, he, Tushar Shah beautifully mentioned one of the couplets that Mohabbat ki nahi jati, Mohabbat ho hi jati hai. Ye shola khud badakta hai, badka ya nahi jata. Aur Mohabbat karne ke liye kuch khas dil maksoos hote hain. Ye wo nagma hai, joh har saas par gaya nahi jata. Hmm. So we want something to be sung on har saas. Yes, you are telling something? Beginning to end, no, nah, boss. It's an instinctual inclination. It is an instinctual inclination towards sensual gratification. Period. Because by and large in India, whatever is sensual could be sexual. And whatever is sexual need not be sensual. How will you assess sexual desire? Very simple. Number one, frequency of sexual thoughts. Number two, coital experiences. Number three, masturbatory experiences. These are the three parameters by which you can assess the desire. Desire could be either high or it could be low. There cannot be anything in between. Which are the conditions where you will find the desire high? Sorry? Never! It's not compulsory to reply. <laughs> desire could be high in mania, schizophrenia, because of the loosening of inhibition, psychological. Organic, where the desire would be high. Yes, on certain of drugs, right? What other kind of drugs? Then, in general, following alcohol. Now, desire could be low. In which conditions? 
don't think of heavy things. Dislike of partner. <laughs> Dislike of partner's body order. Dislike of partner's behavior. A, pa a, pa a patient is chewing a pan or tambako every now and then and goes and tries to kiss his wife. The wife would get averse to it. The treatment is not antidepressant. Just ask him to use a mouthwash or speak the brush. Yeah. Detail history is very important. So, dislike of anything. Second, before depression, I would say OCD. Very common. Or OCPD. Then comes depression. Once again, schizophrenia. There could be total blunting of desire. What are the organic causes? Organic causes. Testes manufacture testosterone, gets metabolized in the liver and acts on the target organ. So, any problem in the testes, liver or target organs can lead to decline in desire. This is in general. What about sudden increase in sexual desire? You are all family physicians by and large, am I right? What could be the causes? Very simple. Frontal lobe tumors, post-epilepsy, post rose head injuries. What would be the sudden cause of uh, decline in sexual desire? You must know, madam. The pretty faces need to know. Sudden decline in sexual desire. No. That is man o pause. No. I am telling you sudden. Day. Come on. Or a discovery of an affair. Very simple. If your partner is, you realize that he is having an affair with somebody, the desire would be completely lost. What are the other conditions? Drugs, anti-androgens, anti-hypertensives, <coughs> anti-psychotics, anti-depressants and certain drugs, Ayurvedic medicines which contains Ravulfia serpentina or Ganja as its ingredient. These are an anti-autonomic drugs. These are the drugs which can lead to this problem. Often drugs are the most common but still unsuspected culprits of sexual dysfunction. The last would be any surgical removal of testicles. Sudden loss could be there. Well, remember one thing. If a patient or a client has lost attraction towards his partner, then the prognosis is guarded. Am I clear? Second would be desire. Which one was the second one? Erection. The hallmark by which you will differentiate the psychological from the organic erectile dysfunction is that if a patient comes and reports to me, the doc, I have a desire, I get erection in one set of circumstances but not in the other. I get in the early morning, I get with one woman, I get during masturbation, I get with one partner, I get after having a look at the pornographic literature, but not at the time of coitus, then the problem is situational and not constitutional. By just giving talks, it's not going to help. You have to explain to your clients. Symptomatology. Give me an example, if I have a hand like this, if I chop it off from here, if it falls on the ground, even if I raise my arm ten times, will my forearm be raised even once? Yes or no? No. Aray bhai, ye mera haath hai, yaan se kaat ke niche rakh dun, dasa martaba, isko uđhao, ek martaba bhi nahi uđhega. Agar ek martaba uđh gaya, to aap maanenge ki mera haath tuta hua tha. To usi wajah se, agar ek bahar, agar ek insaan ko erection ho jata hai, और दूसरी कंडीशन में नहीं होता है तो ये प्रॉब्लम सिचुएशनल है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल नहीं है ये प्रॉब्लम दिमागी है उसमें कोई शारीरिक कमी नहीं है यू नो इट वेरी वेल एंड यू कैन अनलेस एंड अंटिल यू आर कंफर्टेबल विथ योर ओन सेक्सुअलिटी एंड सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेक्सुअलिटी यू वोट बी एबल टू इंस्टिल दिस कॉन्फिडेंस आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ टू जॉब हियर 
I will infuse that as well as explain to you the diagnostic aspects. How will you assess erectile dysfunction? You won't find this in any, any books. Quality of erection, rigidity, angle of erection, sustenance of erection, finished. Quality of erection, erection could be of three type, non-penetrable rigidity. This could be following trauma or following drugs. Patients have no erection at all, the treatment would be entirely different. Second doctor, yes, I have stiff, but not that stiff. There you are, gentleman in the white shirt. Diabetes. Desire is 4 plus, but there is decline in erectile ability at all times. Not that stiff. So, this is a catch. Usually a neurovascular problem. Next one is sustaining. I have desire, I do get erection, but I just lose it prior to penetration. What is it? Anxiety, fear. What happens is, having failed once, the fear of failure forms a tendency to remain under the conscious control during the sex act and that impairs an individual sexual response. It's like just like that, if I failed in the examination once, next time even if I am better prepared, I won't have confidence. Very simple. So, one failure brings another failure, but sometimes what happens, because of repeated failures, you develop a feeling of frustration and emotional distress and sometimes you will get the symptoms of anxiety. What are the symptoms? Increased palpitation. Chati mein dil ki dhadkane bada jati hai, halak sook jata hai, dryness of the mouth, tremors, fear, I will not be able to perform again. So, these are the symptoms. There might be an indication of ad advising short acting anti anxiety drug, mouth dissolving or something like that. You, you can tide over the crisis. Now, this is about what about the organic cause where a man will have desire, get erection, and lose it immediately. Anybody? Venus leaks. A man will have desire, get an erection for a second, and lose it. Results are frustrating, accepting surgery. Surgery also implants is the only thing left, nothing helps. So, we have talked about desire, we have talked about erection. What is the next thing? Penetration. First thing is, you have desire, you get erection and you lose it prior to penetration. The second one is, you make an attempt to penetrate, but the penis remains stiff. Unable to penetrate, but penis remaining stiff. What could be the cause? Lack of knowledge, most common. Because urethra is very close to vagina. I have come across many people attempting in urethra, they are in vagina. So, in such situation, I always tell, Baba, let the woman do the job. Because she knows where it goes. She is more conversant about her own anatomy than the male. But, second thing. So, inadequate knowledge of female sexual anatomy. What else? Faulty sexual positions. Many people do not know how to. And coity history is not included in our history taking format. Because we commonly follow the West. Many people perform keeping his legs outside hers. I have come across cases of 12 years impotence. non conjugation of marriage, 25 years. Nobody asked them, how do you perform? Even in this era of internet. I keep dolls or mannequins. Ask them, please show me in those cases where I doubt. Because this knowledge is not given to anybody. Nobody has been advised how to perform. Second would be, these are the psychological reasons. What about the organic causes responsible for have desire, get erection, but penis remains stiff and unable to penetrate. Phimosis, pain, 
सेकेंड करवेचर ऑफ द पीनिस एक्सट्रीम करवेचर ऑफ द पीनिस वेर द पेनिट्रेशन में नॉट बी पॉसिबल This could occur because of the congenital configuration of the corpora cavernosa, abnormality of the investing or buck fascia, and the most common Peyronie's disease. But mind you, unless there is severe pain during penetration, avoid any treatment. <coughs> Second condition which I have come across two or three cases: man has desire, gets erection. erection remains but is unable to penetrate got his nptr done got his blood sugar tested got his testosterone done two wives left him the third wife was a nurse she said doctor sir this is a genuine problem he gets erection but somehow the other mud jata hai penis buckles you cannot think of this thing. this is because he had history of fracture of penis earlier and if you want to confirm you can confirm by the axial pressure which is normally between 80 to 200 here you will find somewhere between 50 60 max the moment he tries to move further it will bend i mean it would buckle am i clear please so penis remains erect but still not able to penetrate there is nothing beyond this after that he is able to penetrate but loses the erection distraction fear yeah sex lies between the two ears and not between the two legs you are right fear second the moment he tries to penetrate and the any pain pain could occur because of herpes it could occur because of urethritis it could occur because of prostatitis it could be occur because of stricture of urethra if he has a bubo here he gets pain and he will lose the erection so by how a man gets erection either by the sight order taste touch there is a sex center in the brain when the rouse the messages will go down when the messages are sufficient the further messages go down there is flow of blood and a man gets hard on indeed you require a proper hormone and ambience but any disturbance anywhere and a man can have erectile dysfunction so three things are important either he lose the erection before orgasm if you want to achieve orgasm you need to pass through this or penis may remain erect but still unable to penetrate or you may lose during penetration what are the other condition where you will lose the erection after penetration most common condition i used to get about 7 or 8 cases almost every year they would be referred from the gynec from the, from the obstetric de department after the delivery the man would inevitably come and tell doctor our penis is lost in vagina why there is laxity of vagina imagine you have to first understand the mechanics during intercourse what the penis does in a woman's vagina it does the same in the folded palm during masturbation meaning thereby if you know hindi well you can pick up marathi faster because of the same script similarly can you masturbate gentlemen with the loose grip can you no your hand has to be snug similarly if the vagina is lax a man may not be able to reach orgasm the penis would shrivel down and he will lose the erection the treatment is very simple do it in a woman's legs cross position long term kegels exercises failing which a vaginal repair well if you cross this three then you reach orgasm how much time do we enjoy orgasm anybody in the audience how much time do we enjoy orgasm sorry various time never how much time do we enjoy orgasm not more than half a minute per week 
and not more than half an hour per year. But still, it's an important phenomena. The mathematics of misery and happiness chiefly depends upon this. What happens when a man reaches orgasm, when the sexual tension reaches the peak? There is, when a sexual, yes gentlemen, I would share. I would share. Please, please tell. Tell me what is this. Tell me. Only fools laugh without reasons. Tell me. <laughs> tell me. Tell me, yaar, what is it we all share? Come on. Come on, you are an adult. Please tell. Share. Let's say. Come. What happens when a man reaches orgasm? Tell me. All right. Tell me what happens when a woman reaches orgasm. What happens? What happens when a woman reaches orgasm? How will you find out? Answer my question. What happens? Are you, are you married? The man with the checks and the next birth. Are you married? Do you have girlfriends? Very sad. You can't answer this. <laughs> well, in case of men, when the sexual tension reaches the peak, the fluid from the prostate, seminal vesicles and the testicles gets deposited into the prostatic urethra. At that time, there is a closure of the bladder neck and you experience what is known as orgasmic inevitability. What is wrongly mentioned as ejaculatory evitability. And a split second later, there is contraction of the bulbocavernosus, ischocavernosus, Muscles and the seminal bolus is thrown out. That is ejaculation. Normal ejaculation is anti-grade ejaculation. If a man reaches orgasm, has desire, gets erection, experiences the pleasure, but if there is no semen outside, if it goes in the bladder, it is known as retrograde ejaculation. But the orgasmic pleasure is same. Pleasure is experienced between the two years. And ejaculation and vaginal contractions are experienced between the two legs. Am I clear? What problems of orgasm could occur? Either a man reaches orgasm early, he experiences the pleasure early, or delayed, or pleasure is less, impaired, or pleasure is absent, absent orgasm. Four things can occur. Early orgasm, delayed orgasm, impaired orgasm, and absent orgasm. Most of the people from West and East use the word premature ejaculation when they reach orgasm early. I would do this for prepubertal boys. Or those individuals who are taking medicine like carbamazepine. And there is no emission at all. If he reaches orgasm early, what will you diagnose as? Premature ejaculation, despite there is no ejaculation. It's a paradox. Suppose if a man reaches with a delay. What the current man classification mentions? Retarded ejaculation. Can ejaculation ever be retarded? Lady of who has done literature. Can ejaculation ever be retarded? It is a retarded thought. So delayed orgasm is simple. You see, so classification has to be based on the pleasure principle. Not only that, whenever you see a beautiful woman, what is the first thought which crosses your mind? Have fun or to produce babies? What is the first thought which crosses your mind? Have fun. So it has to be pleasure and not procreation. Very simple. If you reach orgasm, pleasure early, early orgasm. Delay, delayed orgasm. Less pleasure, impaired orgasm. No pleasure, absent orgasm. So, orgasm is experienced earlier than your expectation. Within rational limits is early. Delayed, Delayed, impaired, less pleasure, absent, no pleasure at all. Please remember, this is orgasm. 
Next is the visible component that is known as ejaculation. In the pursuit of orgasm, ejaculation is a happening and not a prerequisite. One can experience orgasm without ejaculation and ejaculation without orgasm. Am I clear? Yes or no? Now ejaculation, visible component, you can still clinch certain diagnosis. Suppose if a semen just sips out, the squirting action is absent. It is SSD, squirtless seminal dribble. That could be, a man experiences no pleasure at all. Semen just sips out. This could occur in myopathies and vitamin B12 deficiency. Suppose if the quantity of semen is less, what could be your clinical diagnosis? Partial retrograde ejaculation or low testosterone. If there is no ejaculation at all, what would be the diagnosis? Retrograde ejaculation or there is no formation of emission. Could be because of following certain antipsychotics or carbamazepine. Or it could be because of blocked ejaculatory ducts. Or there could be tremendously low testosterone level. Then also the same thing can happen. The next in the group would be this, nothing beyond this in sexual dysfunctions. I am telling you the extract of more than 60,000 cases which I have seen in my career of 45 years. The next is a man has desire, a gets erection, able to reach orgasm. But semen does not come out immediately. It comes out after a while. Pouch in the urethra. He will give a history of some instrumentalization, some hypospadias repair, or some, there was some stricture in urethra and some urologist has tried to fiddle around. So, he has formed a pouch. You can confirm it by ascending urethrogram. So, desire, erection, penetration, orgasm, Ejaculation period. Well, you can take family history, history of habits, past history, as and when it is relevant. But three questions I normally ask before I conclude. Number one, it would be, what arouses you the most? Sometimes you could be a fetish. Only the shoe, we are, are, I mean, arouses him. Only the legs or only the buttocks arouses him. Number two, what attributes your problem to? He might have just a guilt of size that I have a smaller one. You need to know what is the normal sexual length of the vagina. I mean, so that you can conclude that the normal sexual length of vagina is six inches. Only outer one third has sen sensations leads to two conclusions that if you want to arouse your partner, concentrate outside an outer third of vagina and second, the size of the penis could be anything from two inches or more. Longer the better is a Godzilla logic, Dr. Maniar. And the last one I would ask is, is there anything else which I have not asked but you would like to tell me? Very important. I remember a client came to me with his wife. Look, doc, four years, we have been trying very hard and nothing comes out. And I mean, not been able to do anything. Four years. So I naturally thought of writing down all the details. I would ask his blood sugar fasting in two hours after lunch. And I thought, let me get his testosterone levels. Then he was 54. And also the NPTR. I was about to write. Then I remembered, Dr. Tushar Maniar, I remembered at the end and I asked this question, is there anything else which I have not asked but you would like to tell me? He said, Doctor, only one thing. What is it? This problem is only with the wife and not outside. So the entire scenario could be different. Well, to diagnose a sexual disorder, it's not easy. It's not magic. 
it's challenging to both physicians own therapeutic skills and his comfort with the subject of sexuality thank you so much sure. i like photographs because photography and sex both develop in dark <laughs> and in both you need to click am i right <laughs> Dr. Tushar sir, I am no more a target now. <laughs> uh, I would request Dr. Snehal Shah to please uh, give a small token. Uh, we tried to get a bag Thank with you. a Kama Sutra motif. Thank you so much. Thank you for the patient giving. Thanks.